absolutely from anything. And in fact, one of the things I am very interested in is finding things that you can't paint. Oh, things that are just impossible to paint. A feeling, an idea, a kind of subject matter. I once did a Monica Lewinsky painting. You can't do that. Not abstractly, anyway, can you? The other element to these paintings that I think is worth noting, all of them come from a source in reality, in the real world. And I mean that in a very broad way. It could come from a thing, a place, an idea, a person, a moment, uh, anything, a song, a poem, you name it, I will try to make a painting about it. The strategy I use is to put something down there. You, you make a mark. From the very beginning, you try to do something that speaks to that seed, that core, the initial idea. And then you look at it. You get it out of your head where it's perfect, and you put it in the real world. Okay, does it speak? Usually they don't. I mean, you always hope that, that first mark, you know, will solve the problem and the painting is finished. Uh, and I can tell you that happens once every 30 years, like clockwork. But you put it out there and you look at it and you think about it. And it doesn't work or it needs a change. You make it bigger, make it smaller, you change the color. You scrape it off, put another shape next to it, a second thing. The sources of those other moves, I try to bring them in from as many different places as possible. One of the nice things about working with a core in reality, is that everything in the world connects to everything else. If you have this object, this place, this thing, you can look at it from the north. That doesn't work. Try looking at it from the south. Go 10 feet to the left, you know? Let's look at it at midnight, now at dawn. Let's try different times and atmospheres and distances. And you start piling these things on. What else does it evoke? What artists have dealt with things like that? I'm not any kind of an appropriationist, but I've seen thousands upon thousands of paintings, and I've thought about them like every artist. And you put a, a shape down. Hey, you know, Matisse came for a visit. Well, you can use that. Does that fit your spinning out of this story?